Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com, and today's video comes from another reader who was asking, again, how to do a JPEG file that she found on the internet of Daniel the Lion, or Tiger, and this is the image she was trying to do. And as a second choice, she wanted to try this one. So let's play around with these and see what we can do. First thing I'm going to do is make him bigger so that we can see him. When I first looked at this image, I thought one problem may be that this is a kind of a gray, and what the silhouette reads is color against white when it traces, so this may become a little bit blurry, but let's see what happens. If we go over to the trace window, select trace area. Okay, that's not got solid images, so we need to turn off the high pass filter, turn up the threshold until we get a nice solid outline. And if you turn it all the way up, it goes kind of blurry, so you have to kind of play with it and look when you have a smooth outline. And go up a little bit from there. I'm looking at this area, we need to make sure those edges are closed. Okay, and I'm going to go trace outline. So now we have the outline and the image. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to make a duplicate of him. And what I'm going to do now is try to get this area to cut out. So I'm going to, again, select trace area. Let's select him. Turn off the high pass filter and turn up the threshold. And again, I'm after this piece right here, so I'm looking for a good outline. I think that looks about good. So I'm going to hit trace this time. And what that's going to do is give me all the inner pieces where it read white. So this is one piece. So we're going to click on it, right click, release compound path. All I want is this piece right here. I'm going to, let's zoom in here. Make sure that's lined up really well. And while I have that selected, I'm going to go to the cut lines and hit cut edge. And I'm going to select this line. Make sure I have the right one. Cut edge. Zoom back out. We can get rid of all of this. And what I'm going to do is pull this aside. I'm going to oops, click over this and that, right click, make compound path. What that does is make both of those pieces into one. Now I'm going to move him back over here. Zoom out a little bit. We don't need this guy. I'm gonna make sure he's lined up really well. Okay, so I'm going to draw around everything, right click and group. So now the cut lines will stay with this guy. Now let's try this one. First of all, we don't need this and we don't need that, but we'll deal with that. Let's draw. Oops. Sorry, let's start over there. Select trace area. Turn off the high pass filter, turn up the threshold. Again, we're looking for a good outline on that outer edge. What's gonna happen with this one is we're gonna end up, it's going to tra 
trace around those polka dots, but let's let's give it a whirl. So this is what we have, but there is an outline around the face. So I'm going to right click, release compound path, and I'm going to pull that piece out. That's what I want. I'm going to get rid of all this. And now I'm going to take this and this, select them both. I'm going to go to the alignment window, align center, align middle. And now he's lined up. And I'm going to hit cut lines, cut edge. Oop, no cut. I didn't select the right line. Cut edge. So that's how I would handle that. I'm now I'm grouping it all together, selecting it all, group. So that's how I would hand, handle that image if you wanted to. I don't know uh, which edition you have, but if you want to get rid of this, you can, you can cut it off or even erase it. So I'm selecting my knife here. Now let's try to erase it. Here we go. So that's how you would do it. Um, if you go to cut lines, you're going to cut this, and you're going to cut this. Don't forget, if you want to print this as a flat image, you're going to turn on your registration marks, show registration marks. Uh, you need to go to your paper settings, use printer settings. So we need to move him within the printable area. And there you go. Hope this helps. Thanks.